Hi, I am Zain Khan and in this video we are going to do some further practice of writing functions. The way I want you to do this is I am going to post the questions up on the screen and I would want you to pause the video, try writing the function on your own and then after you have given it a try, you can continue with the video and see my solution where I walk you through it step by step. So this is the first function that I want you to write. The function name is Pythagoras. What it does is it, it takes two input arguments which are the lengths of the base and the perpendicular side and it calculates the length of the hypotenuse side. So pause the video right now, read this, try writing the function and once you have given it a try then proceed with the rest of the video. So this is the function that I have written. As you can see that the name of the function is Pythagoras. It takes two inputs A and B and it outputs one output argument which is C. How it works is it first takes the square of A, adds it to the square of B and saves it to a temporary variable which I have called temp. And then it makes use of the square root built in function in MATLAB and simply applies the square root to the temp and saves it in C and I get the output variable C. Let me try it out. So let me try it out for two lines. Let's say three and four and it works. Let me try it out for something else, a 13 and let's say 20 and I get this. If you have any trouble understanding this, post it in the comments and I will be sure to reply back to you. Now this is the second function that I want you to give it a try. The function name is maximum underscore number. What it does is you give it one argument. The argument which is A is a matrix. It can be a matrix of any size. It can be a 3 by 3 matrix, 4 by 3 matrix, any size at all. And what it does is it outputs the highest number within that matrix. So pause the video now, give it a try and when we come back I will walk you through my solution. I hope you give it a try. So here's my solution. The function name is maximum number. This is the input matrix to it and first what I've done is I've used the maximum of this input matrix and save it into B. So let's say just to walk you through what it, I mean, let's say I have a matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 9. This is sorry, this is a matrix A and if I do maximum of A right here, I can see that what it does it, it gives the maximum of each column. So in the first column, the 3 is the maximum, it outputs 3, 4, 5 and 9. Now once I have this, all I do is I save it into a, a variable b and then I use this transpose function on b. So if I use, so let me use this transpose function on maximum of a. So I get those elements but now in a vector form and now once I apply this again maximum of the answer I am going to get the highest element in this 9 so that is all this function does so if I were to call this function let me call this up here and I use the matrix A which is this one so let's say I call this function with matrix A it outputs 9 I hope you found this useful if you did don't forget to put a thumbs up on the video, subscribe for more related videos like this and if you have any questions regarding this function or the last function, do post in the comments and as always see you in the next video.